and dollar analysis. Uh, so what do we do in here? We look at charts, open interest data, FI data, and we try to form an informed opinion of what the market is likely to do in the next few sessions, right? So without further ado, let's look at what we said yesterday and see if any of that worked out. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> yesterday we were saying that 17,000 can be a support. 16,800 to 17,000 can have some kind of a base. At 17,000, we can see buying and buying on dips near 70,000 with strict sell is the strategy to do. And if dips happen, we can sell 17,000 puts is what we said. Now, uh, this is right and wrong. Wrong if you are a, a strict stop loss intraday player. Right if you are a slightly deep pocketed spread seller, right? So, see today, if you can look at the price action, we formed a low somewhere near 16,850 levels, which incidentally happens to be the previous low uh, three sessions uh, back and it's also some kind of a swing uh, support as you can see the multiple bottoms being formed around this zone so around 70 16850 zone we kind of saw buying and today nifty formed a uh, kind of a tiny hammer right uh, similarly bank nifty also witnessed resistance at um, 200 dma but again, if you look at it, there is consistent rejection mix at the bottom and there is hammer after hammer after hammer being formed in Bank Nifty, right? So Nifty and Bank Nifty both are witnessing buying at lower levels. Uh, that is undeniable. Dollar is uh, kind of flat today. Uh, it's a wait and watch game. So that is the chart, right? But let's not forget the bigger picture. The stock is below, I mean, Nifty is below 200 DMA. Bank Nifty is close to 200 DMA, but below. <laughs> Nifty has broken a long running COVID trend line. And uh, so technically, technically, the Nifty is in a bearish zone as of now. But is this the level to short? Probably no, because we are very close to the bottom of a channel. And if you short here and a bounce happens, then uh, your short will play out very badly. So as of now nifty looks like uh if you look at longer term uh picture also right in the weekly chart it is looking uh like a consistent downtrend uh on a monthly chart also it has been consistently downtrending trending four big red candles <clears throat> but on a daily time frame it is in a bottom end of a channel and it is showing rejection at around 16,800 levels, but not significant rejection, right? So what does the chart mean? Uh, 16,800, close to 16,800 might be a good place to short. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, so 16,800 is where our supports are emerging, 800, 850. But of course, if it is broken, that's a different story. Bank Nifty is also forming multiple levels of support around this level. And we have to acknowledge that this bearish engulfing which was formed on Wednesday 15th March did not really hold. So now let's look at open interest. This is where things get interesting. So if you look at the overall open interest for today, you'll think that this is very bearish because 17,000 put witnessed a lot of unwinding. And 17200 calls saw a lot of addition. But if you look at action during the last three hours, a lot of call unwinding. If you look at action during the last two hours, a lot of call unwinding. And in fact, put addition 1600. If you look at the last one hour, same story, a lot of call unwinding. But net net for the day, it is uh, put unwinding and call addition. That's because in the morning we saw a lot of put unwinding. Option chain looks pretty even here, slightly bullish, slightly bearish than bullish. PCR is neutral, but this side is more dominant. The call side is more dominant than put side. So option chain looks a little bearish, right? So we'll write that down. So um, Nifty is showing support close to 6800 levels. Bank Nifty show, showing support around 39,000 levels. Lot of call unwinding. Uh, happening in nifty uh, second half 17000 has some resistance though uh, pcr is neutral but fi data is where all the bearish story unfolds fi sold 1 lakh calls i don't think we have seen such a big call sell number in recent times they also 
bought 14,000 puts. This is not very big, but this is huge. They sold 2,000 crores and they sold 2,000 crores again in stocks. Future stocks, everything is a sell. So net net, uh, bear, very bearish option chain data, option data, bearish futures data, bearish uh, F stock data, everything is negative, right? So my bias purely because of FII is negative, but is this where I want to short? No. So if the data continues this way and the market bounces and it gives me a negative candlestick pattern, I'll probably look to short, but I don't want to short at this level because I think there's a bounce here, right? Uh, even today, if you shorted uh, anywhere under 6,900, it wouldn't have worked out very well. So if 17,000 holds, so basically uh, uh, market may be long-term bearish, uh, may have some more downside, but this, but uh, 16,800 to 17,000 might not be the level to show. This is too low a level to show. So basically, if I see 17,300 coming and a negative candlestick pattern comes, or if 17,300 comes and we saw strong FII or OI action, probably you can think of shorting. But if 17,300 comes, accompanied by strong FIA data and option chain data, that's a different story. But this shorting this level, right, is very tricky simply because there are too many supports here. There is <clears throat> there is this level, which is the uh, 100 weekly moving average, but that seems to have broken out. There is the bottom of the channel. Now let's also look at futures data just to be, you know, futures data is also indicating rejection from the bottom but nifty has broken the 100 weekly moving average levels but yeah very very so ultimately right i think it could be a <clears throat> if 17000 holds right there can be a play to sell puts below 17000 but And there is weakness. This is a sell on bits. Simply because, let's say tomorrow we see an action like, uh, one second, let, let me just play out the scenario. So yesterday we had talked about a scenario that this is not a good level to buy. Maybe if it comes down, it can be a good level to buy close to the bottom of the channel. Right? Similarly, I'm not sure if this is a good level to sell. Right? If data continues like this, if open interest continues bearish, if FI data continues to be bearish, if Nifty rises, I'll probably think of uh, selling here. Of course, if there is accompanying data on FI and OI, right? But the problem is if Nifty holds this level, then you are shorting too close to this um, trend line or you know the channel. Basically, there are so many instances where price has been rejected close to 16,800, uh, right? So the bulls are not allowing the price to settle there. Bears are not able to close there. There's a lot of volumes happening at the lower levels on buys. <clears throat> so basically, I'm not, sh I don't think that I don't, I want to short so close to the bottom betting on a breakout breakdown. I, if I think there's a breakdown coming below 16,800, probably to 16,500 or 16,000, any kind of that zone, then I'd really want to sell a negative candlestick pattern with accompanying OI and FI data, probably at a higher level. If I short here and Nifty does like a short cover rally to let's say 7,200 or 300 or something, then I'm toasted. So I don't want to play that game, right? But let's not forget the bearish cues here. One, Nifty is out of this long running trend line to the channel, midterm channel is still downward trending and three nifty is below 200 DMA and four, there is a lot of FIA data. So if you are buying, buy close to the uh, uh, support for a short term bounce, don't bet 
कि यार अब जाके सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड से एटीन थाउजेंड जाएगा एंड नाइनटीन थाउजेंड जाएगा काइंड ऑफ बेट्स हियर दैट इज बेस्ट प्लेड आउट इफ दिस अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बेस फॉर्मिंग हियर एंड समथिंग एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड चेंजेस एटलीस्ट आई वुड वॉन्ट सम काइंड ऑफ अ रियश्योरेंस दैट दिस चैनल इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रोकन टू प्ले सच अ गेम बट एट दिस लेवल वन गेम टू प्ले इज यू कैन कीप बाइंग क्लोज टू द एब्सोल्यूट बॉटम फॉर स्मॉल बाउंसेस और इफ इट गैदर्स टीम गोज अप एंड गिवस नेगेटिव प्राइस एक्शन यू कैन सेल बट I don't want to buy here for a huge move up because it is still below the covid trend line and all that. I don't want to sell too close to the bottom because if there's a short covering I'll be toasted. So basically this is like a range I would want to play uh buy close to the bottom with a tight stop loss or sell on upticks with a tight stop loss. I don't want to play any long term bets here because there is some conflict the conflict being that chart looks like it is taking some kind of support but FII data is indicating mega mega negativity right so not an easy market to trade could be range bound for some time uh so if there is a uh, if there is a jump right let's see what kind of jump we can expect if there is a jump we can probably see a jump up to 200 dma or even 150 dma which is around 17 800 levels right i think prashdeep was pointing this out the reason why i'm saying this is one it is close to the top of this channel 17 800 levels two there are two there's one more very important level here which is the covid trend line so if there is a bounce the best case of that bounce is the top of this channel or the bottom of the covid trend line but it's kind of very optimistic to play that game in fact i don't want to carry anything overnight given the kind of stuff we are seeing now unless it is spreads which are fairly uh, risk limited right but yeah there is a possibility that if there is a consolidation here and a bounce here it can go all the way up to this level which is probably 17700 17800 types where there is an intersection of the top of this down trending channel and the bottom of the covid trend line etc etc right but it's not an easy market to play significant volatility significant bounces also when you're trading very close to the bottom of a channel it's very unnerving to buy here knowing that okay this can break down and it can be crazy so think about it this way right uh, the previous low was somewhere around 16900 ish on futures and most people would have put a stop of 16900 types but today's bottom actually formed around 16880 types so if you're a very nimble player keeping like a 20 30 point stop loss it's very easy to be taken out here uh, which is why close to the bottom it might make sense to actually play spreads because there's no possibility of an infinite loss right or a huge loss you're just taking a spread and all volatility is absorbed by the maximum loss cap so probably if you are betting on a bounce a spread might be a good idea to do that without taking too much tension uh, either a 17000 put spread with a cover at a lower put or 16800 put sell and buy cover at a lower level or you can even if you are optimistic you can even buy a bull call spread because ultimately even if a breakdown happens you are covered in that case and you don't have to take the stress of ki yaar maine yahan pe 5 slot future mara ab 10% gap down hua market ya 3% gap down hua mere to lag jayenge right so you don't have to think in terms of ki dude what happens if if 300 400 points gap down happens you can sleep peacefully in fact this is one of those places when you're betting on like a reversal or breakdown or something when you can aram say do a spread whichever your view is simply because your uh peace of mind is very uh predictable because of the possibility of uh finite loss involved right so probably one thing you can do is trade this uh trade this thing with the spreads okay. because the market is giving too many conflicting signals if this holds it can go up if it even if it goes up it can only go down go up till here yahan pe aake probably it can take a you know beating and come down a little maybe after that it will go up again who knows right but basically there are many scenarios that can play out here so maybe it's best to not take long term views 
and play each day as it comes right uh, so uh, that's that uh, all right uh, let me quickly go through some user comments Gaurav is asking, what about Fed? Yeah, uh, see, the thing is this, right? So what, at this point, if, okay, if Fed takes cognizance of the fact that there is structural risk in the system and they pause, there are two things which can play out, right? So everybody expects Fed to give like a 0.25 basis point, something, something. Uh, and if, if that is factored in, right, everybody expects that to happen. So if Fed does that, market will perhaps, you know, uh, take a slight beating or continue as it is or something. Uh, the scary thing or the unpredictable thing is, what if Fed takes into account the fact that there are so many uncertainties in the global system, all these bank runs and credit sways and all that. If because of any of this, if Fed decides ki yaar thoda pause kar lete, or if it decides, ki, let me just, you know, take a, uh, how do you put it, easing bar, keep the liquidity in the system kind of a view, that will be like a curveball and that can cause like a short term spike in equities, right? Because more liquidity means everybody will buy and all these short covering boys will have to take cover and that will be bad. But if Fed is doing that because there's something wrong in the system, that wrong cannot be held back forever and it's only a matter of time before it comes and hits us back. So, yeah, I mean, whichever way you look at it, the long run does not look good. In fact, let me put it this way, right? I am pretty sure a year from now, Nifty will be lower than where it is right now. The only doubt I have is, will it go up one last time before coming down or will it just go down just like this, right? Or, or in other words, let me put it this way, right? I won't be doing Nifty SIP, Nifty Bs, long-term investments, etc. at this point of time, simply because I think everybody will get a better chance to do it probably a year or two from now. That's a bold, it's kind of sticking my neck out, but that's what I actually believe in. That's what at least I'm doing with, you know, my little bit equity portfolio, whatever it is, right? Uh, so that is our uh, read for uh, today. Uh, probably bounce is what the long story short is right so we'll see you again tomorrow till then please uh, take care and keep your capital safe